Hey, I'm Alice in Wonderland, your favourite Kiwi trans girl, and sometimes I get really weird DM requests. Now usually when I get these DM requests, I'll uh, take a screenshot, I'll um, make fun of it a little bit, and I'll, I'll chuck it on my Instagram story. And now I've been getting a lot of good feedback from that, and people really seem to enjoy it, and I thought it would make a really funny video. So. For the last three months, whenever I've received a really strange DM that kind of pushes my boundaries a little bit, I've been saving them and screenshotting them and chucking them all into a folder, compiling them and putting them together to make a video for you now. I've got a bit of a sore throat today, so my voice might sound a little bit off. My apologies, I'm slacking too much dick. Make sure you go and follow my Instagram at Alice in Wonderland, and if you like the video, go, feel free to subscribe. My love, when I sleep, I dream that I see you in reality. And when I wake up, I wish to see you again in my dreams. Ah, you know, off to a good start. That's kind of, that's actually really cute and I'm weirdly touched by that. I'm gonna go ahead and slap that with a 6.5 out of 10. Are there any other sights to see in New Zealand besides you? Ah, oh, the Thai Happy Gumboot's pretty fucking cool. Yeah, another good one. Uh, I'm gonna give that a solid 7 out of 10. Hi, I just looked at this tower and imagine your cock. Okay. What tower? What tower are you talking about? Hey you, you are so sexy. I know. My god, you're adorable. Thanks, mum. If anyone asks me what my type is, I'm sending them a picture of you. Fucking go ahead, just make sure to share my Instagram tag because I am an attention whore and I want more followers. <laughs> Hi, you are a very pretty trap. I want to eat your ass and suck your big clitoris. Crying emoji. Was this message offensive? Yes. I don't think you even give a shit about how people think about you, comma, comma, dot, dot, comma. And that's the best thing. Hi, you're beautiful. Looks like right here we've got a surprise appearance from Florida Man. Active in active in r slash lonely women. That is a crossover. Do you need a girlfriend? No. No, I need therapy. Hi, do you sell pics or vids? Well, I mean, that really depends on how big your bank account is. Why don't you go ahead and show it to me? Send me a screenshot of your, uh, of your bank account and a picture of both the front and back of your credit cards and I will let you right into my DMs. Follow me? No. Cool. What, what does this mean? Is, have I just been like, voodoo cursed or something? What is this? I feel like I've just, I feel like I'm gonna die in approximately 63 days and two hours. What the hell? Do you have a map? I keep getting lost in your eyes. This is actually kind of a good one. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a, a 6.5 out of 10. I actually don't have a map. I have a very good sense of direction. So I'm pretty confident though in um, giving you directions to, you know, get out of my DMs. Oh my lord, ha, huh? I saw you on Tinder in Auckland's, but I assumed you were a catfish. Oh my god, could you imagine someone using my pictures to catfish? Fuck me, that might possibly make my day. <laughs> Wait, hang on a minute. We'll slurp your estrogen out of you like a Dementor if you get too close. No. <laughs> No, stay away from my estrogen. It's my estrogen. I have a couple of funny DMs saved from when I was first posting stuff online, kind of late last year, and there are a couple of really good ones that I've saved for like god knows how long. You can see this is from December. Snapchat. Yes. Wanna add me? No. Hello lovely. To which I responded, I can play the flute with my nose. Not gonna lie, you'd look like you suck cock amazingly. Not untrue, but like, what the fuck? <laughs> How to get whammon. Step one. Hello, sexy. Sexy. I'm looking for marriage. Are you interested? No. Great style you have. Thanks, Yoda. Alice, I may have to file a complaint with Spotify because they don't have you listed as the hottest single of the week. This is good. I like this pickup line. <laughs> It's actually made even better because I do have music on Spotify and no, I'm not going to tell you what it is because it was, it's old music and I'm very embarrassed by it. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7.5 out of 10. Are you with the Enlight- the Lightbringers? The Enlightenment Bringers, yes? 
<laughs> what is this? What did the Enlightenment bring us? Is this... Have I just been, like, dragged into a cult? Hey, I'm a big guy with a fat cock, and I'm trying to make you my bitch. Why would you send me this? In what world would I respond to this positively? Was this message offensive? <laughs> yes. Hey. Hey. How are you? Hey. Heh. You know what? One out of ten for effort, but I'm gonna make it three out of ten for the persistence. Well done. I've invited you to join my community. R slash amateur fisting. I love fisting my ass. Whee! Oh, hi there. So besides being a cutie, what's your favorite thing to do throughout the day? You really did just slide into my DMs, didn't you? I love this one. This is creative. This is funny. It's got everything. It's got all of the makings of a really good DM. So I'm going to rank this and I'm going to give this an 8.5 out of 10. Are you a parking ticket? Because you've got fine written all over you. Ah, another good one, another good one. Uh, joke's on you though, I don't respect the government. You think I'm gonna pay a parking ticket? Fuck that. I'll just get arrested and then kill myself. Now this was just a funny interaction I had that I wanted to share because... It's just... People sending these, th these things blows my mind. So I responded to my story with, You are adorable with and without makeup. Thank you! And I, you know, I honestly responded, thank you and... For those of you, like, you know, keeping an eye on this, yes, I do actually respond to DM requests. She responds, someone else who uses the golden heart, no way. My friend makes fun of me and calls it piss heart. I hate your friend. <laughs> but also, why would you share this with me? I mean, I'm not complaining. This is amazing. But like, what? Why? Oh my god, you're adorable. Sadly, I'm not gay. We did it. We found an absolute based chad woman this is the most based dm request i have ever received and for that reason i am giving it a based out of 10. want a cheesy pickup line i hate how much i like this this is so creative i really like this one i'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10 that's so fucking good <laughs> are you at school because i want to shoot some kids in you what why do, why would why would someone send me this good lord you look good i mean fuck i finally got the balls to post some pics myself huh check him out let me know what you think let's chat bs forgive this total stone thought but i almost guarantee when you're on your knees you have caused some stalkers lamau i bet you can suck the soul out of a man what kind of person starts a conversation like this? I don't know who you are. I don't know what you look like. You've told me that you've posted some pictures, but spoiler alert, they're all dick pics. And I'm not kidding. This account is full of dick pics. So I don't know what this person looks like. All I have to go off is a dick. Don't send me something like this. Oh my god. Now this. This is... Whew. Hello, beautiful. How are you doing? My name is Oscar and I live down in South Texas, a town called Brownsville. I am a good-hearted 55-year-old man who has never been married, nor do I have any children. It has been 20 plus years since I last had sex and I greatly miss kissing. And then he just, he doesn't stop. For some erotically unknown reason, I think that transgender women are incredibly beautiful and sexy. My ultimate fantasy is to meet and fall deeply in love with you, I mean with a beautiful sexy transgender woman, and marry her. I am astonished that this person exists. This isn't a spam message either, because I'm only showing the first one here, because reasons. There are five more messages just like this, and there's pics of this dude naked. Pics of this dude wearing like lingerie. It's actually interesting to me that um, people like this exist because, oh god, it, I kind of feel sorry for this guy because there's obviously something mentally wrong. Afternoon, I saw your post and wanted to ask if you'd be interested in a couple. I'm a cis male daddy dom top and my cis female sub fiance wants to have a mommy dom as well. We live in Texas. Why is it always Texas? 
it is always Texas. Keep in mind, I'm just showing like, you know, a tiny portion of all of the DMs that I received in the last like three months, maybe. This is like, this is like a 10th of the DMs I receive that I'm showing you today. But I tell you like at least a quarter of them, you go into their profiles and it says something about Texas. Why is it always Texas? Boba tea is disgusting, but you are gorgeous, 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 good looking. I'll admit, grammar, the grammar made me laugh. That's kind of funny. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five out of 10 and take it down to a three because you insulted Boba tea. Just a word of advice, boys. If you're trying to get the interest of a girl, don't insult something that she's, that she likes. It's just stupid. It's not going to work. I mean, I mean, it might work because, you know, some people like me have a humiliation fetish, but don't king shame me. Are you a dead moose? Because I'd fuck you. I do smell like a dead animal. Honestly, the worst part of this DM is that technically you're a furry. And yes, when I say that is the worst part of it, I am aware that this also insinuates necrophilia. Well, I like how confident you are and no, you will DM me back because I'll marry you one day. And then the narrator speaks over the top. As it turns out, she would not DM him back. Hello, sexy little girl. How are we on my daddy dom? Yes, we are. No, we aren't. Wow, perfect and pretty lady. I like you so much, baby. Damn, I'm just a random guy from internet, but you are so cute that I couldn't resist and say hi. Damn, the grammar's really going downhill in these last couple, huh? <gasps> Hello, good morning, how are you? I'm good. Okay. Don't send me lewd pics. I mean, let's be honest, there's not really that much there to show off anyway. And if you send me a pic in a DM, it shows up blurred at first, so it could be fucking anything. It's not a good look. And also, I just want to point out, what the fuck is going on with this dude's bathroom? Like... What is this thing below the mirror? It's, it's, you've just got like a slate tile on the wall. You're actually really beautiful. I mean like, thank you, but why'd you put the actually there? You could just say I'm pretty. <laughs> Love you, baby. Love you too. Oi. Oi. Peace, blessings and love to you, you absolutely angelic being. How do you do today? My name is Rameko and you're Alice, correct? Damn. Romeko has been taking some lessons. He got me tugging on my choker. This is the type of guy that comes up to you at a bar with a rose in his mouth and starts speaking all of the smooth words. Then you get really fucking drunk and you go to kiss him and your mouth gets full of blood because he was too stupid to take the thorns off of the motherfucking rose. Hey, wanna see something? No, no, I don't want to see your dick. Nothing hotter than a cute girl behind the wheel of a muscle car. I don't disagree, but I don't have a muscle car. <laughs> I have a 1991 MX-5 and it is falling to pieces. I wish you showed it elsewhere. What does this mean? What do you mean? You wish- Do you want me to show more of my body? Do you want more ass? Is this what you want? It probably was what he wanted, to be honest. I'm from- I might blur that out just to fuck off the simps. <laughs> Wait, OMG. I literally just saw your pic and immediately had to message you. You are so speechlessly gorgeous. Seriously, you win 10,000% above all the others. You are legit dream girl status. Ah, oh, yes. An actual nice message. I like this one. Thank you for being kind to me. You know, it just interests me because 99% of these messages are randoms just being like, oh, you're so sexy, I bet you suck cock amazingly, I just want to bend you over my knee and fucking strangle you. No one comes up to me and just be like, says something nice, and more importantly, no one ever fucking comes up to me and is like, mommy, step on me, why don't you slap me, mommy, I'll be your femboy, send me those, why are you sending me these? <laughs> I want to be chaotic. I'm like five foot ten and a half. I need to step on some fools, okay? Just wanted to say you look really cute. You actually look really similar to my ex-girlfriend. Okay, it shouldn't have to be said, but this is a terrible way to try and court someone. Don't tell me I look like your ex-girlfriend. Why would you s- Oh, he's active in r slash confessions. Okay, I've got an awful cursed pickup line. Hey babe, are you an unknowable eldritch abomination? Because just one look at you has driven me crazy. Ah, uh, that's clever, I like that one. 
or alternatively and much worse, hey, are you an orchiectomy surgeon? Because I'd let you empty my balls any day. Woo! Those are good. Yeah, I like them. I like, I'm going to give them a 9 and a 10 respectively. These are great. Send me shit like this. This is creative. It's funny. It's, you know, a little bit lewd, but it's not outrightly sexual, you know? I mean, the second one is, but like, I'll give it a pass because it's funny. I never believed in voodoo, not until I lost my marriage and was finding a solution to get back my girlfriend and recover my relationship. A friend of mine introduced me to the spellcaster that helped me reconcile with my girlfriend, and we are living very happily now. Thank God for Dr. Blah blah blah. Now, I just want to say, this is, fellas, this is some fucked up shit. Using, like, voodoo and magic to get back with your friend is, like, that's borderline psychological abuse. In fact, it's not even borderline, that's just abuse. <laughs> not really a pickup line, but what's your favorite band? Rubber band. Thank you for sharing your beauty and journey. You are most welcome. Hi, nice to meet you. Are you a star? Because you are shining bright tonight. I'm not a star, but I am burning at 100 million degrees. Hold up, I'm just gonna tie my hair back again because that was probably a mistake. Hello, beautiful. I hope your day is going well and that you're doing okay. So I wanted to stop by and say I think you're extremely beautiful women and I was wondering if you would be open to talking with me, a wounded vet that just got home from the hospital and finishing my recover. I was just hoping we could talk and see if we connect. So I just ask, be honest, if you're willing to take a chance and talk. Okay, this one's really weird. I don't know, I don't know why someone would send me this. It's just so strange. And then he gets salty when I don't respond to this. Like, it's not my responsibility to help you feel better about your life. Sure, that shit sucks, but like, you don't need a trans girl, you need therapy. Free boot pack. Trap card. Oh no. What am I gonna do? What do I do now? Ah, uh, no, this is really funny. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a fucking 9 out of 10. This is really funny and it's actually creative. I've never, never seen this shit before. Unfortunately for this person, I am flat as a motherfucking board. So, no teddies for you. Oh wait, hang on a minute. They've responded. Oh, see, that's a problem, because I might not have boobs, but I do have a great ass. Oh no. Oh no. But it's okay, because I have a secret up my sleeve. Do you want to play card games? I can play that game. No, you. 